everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, we are going to be doing Christmas shopping roulette. Last year, I actually watched Alicia do this video over on her channel, and I remember I saw it like way too late. I think I saw it like at the beginning of January, so far past the like Christmas season, but that didn't stop me. I kept it in my brain. I knew I wanted to do it. I just had to wait a year. So that time is now. We are doing it today. So if you have yet to see this concept be done before, I will explain it really, really quick. So basically you have a dish or a jar or this, something full of all of the people you wanna buy Christmas gifts for, or just gifts for in general. And then you have another dish full of a bunch of random stores. Now the stores have a big say in how interesting, how funny, how hard this challenge will be because if you do like all clothing stores, well then I think you'll be able to find clothing for everybody. But if you put like a hardware store, a underwear store, a chocolate store, a jewelry store. It might be a little bit more difficult depending on the person you get to buy for. Now I left picking the stores up to my mom, so you can pretty much assume we're gonna have a very wide variety of random stores. I can't even imagine the types of stores she probably put in here, but we're about to find out. There's quite a few in here, like way more store options than there are for like people to buy for options. So we're gonna pick one of these, one of these, and then you have to go to that store and buy something for the person you chose. So, okay, hopefully that makes sense. Without further ado, let's get into choosing where we're gonna shop and for who. Let's go. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pick the first name. Let's see who we're gonna be shopping for. All right, who is it? Hannah. It's kind of difficult to get things out of, so I'm just gonna pick up. Ah, one fell out. Should we do the one that fell out? I'm nervous. Why am I getting nervous? Gap. Oh my gosh, like literally. So let's head to Gap and pick something out for Hannah. If I was Hannah, what would I wear? Again, I'm gonna be guessing sizing, but look at you. You're so soft. Oh yeah! I'm feeling stressed. <laughs> Mia, I don't see why you wouldn't just get that. In fact, you could re-gift that one. Don't say I never did anything for you, Hannah. <laughs> she tried to get this one. Okay, I may look a little bit disheveled from shopping, but okay. Yeah, what did we get for Hannah? Usually how I judge gifts is the thought is what counts, but also if I would like it, I just assume everyone would like it. That's probably a really bad thing to do, but like instantly when I walked in, I was drawn to this sweater. It's like a fleece, long puffy sleeve turtleneck. It makes me think of like skiing, snowboarding, like at some sort of ski resort. It's so nice and soft. And I know sometimes Hannah's cold, but then again, sometimes she's also too hot. So I don't know how this will go, but I mean, who doesn't love a fluffy, comfy turtleneck. And then with that, I just wanted to pair a few things and she's always wearing like fun, playful socks. So I decided to get her these ones and then also these longer cozy ones. I think she'll like it, hopefully. All right, Hannah, here you go. All right, cute wrapping paper. Okay, something soft. Yes. Something blue socks. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> You These like, are cute. You like socks, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? They're actually really cute. They are cute. It's cute. Do you like it's it? Super soft. I know. It's like so soft. And honestly, really like really soft. Going with soft was a good choice. Yeah. Okay, perfect. I like it. Thank you, Mia. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, next. I'm like curious to know. All of the notes are white, but then there's a purple one. I want to see what is the purple one. I mean, it stands out so much. I'm curious. What's the dealio? Oh, look at this. Thread up. What could that mean? Do we have a sponsor? We do. All right, you guys, this video is in fact sponsored by Thread Up. If you don't already know what ThreadUp is, ThreadUp is not your typical thrift store. You can shop your favorite brands like Lululemon and Hollister online, and you can get up to 90% off the estimated retail price. And I'm just gonna show you guys quickly like one of my fave things about ThreadUp, because I love their feature that they have to like put in your specifications of what you're shopping for. With these filters, you can put in your sizes, and then you're only going to see the products that are the size you're looking for. And also say you're looking for a, I don't know, let's say a 
white sweater vest. Then here we go. Here are all the options in my size and the right color and the article of clothing I'm looking for. And not to mention thrifting is good for the environment. And I mean like who doesn't like saving money, you guys, right? So with this video being sponsored, I do have a promo code for you guys for 30% off your first order. You can use my code MiaMaples30. Now, obviously I got a box back here. It kind of started with me shopping for my mom's gift and it just turned into me shopping for myself as well. So I'm gonna give my mom her gift in a minute. First, I'm gonna show you guys my outfits I picked. We got the cute packaging, of course, as always. I will reuse it. For the first outfit, we have this super fluffy Uniqlo jacket. Now, I will say when I'm shopping, I don't always look for brands. I kind of look for cute pieces. So I've never tried this brand before, but it is adorable. This estimated retail was $71 and I got it for around $27. And then for the top, I did a black turtleneck and this is from Antonio Melanie. The estimated retail price was $71 and I got it for $18. And then I got this cute checkered skirt. It's from The Limited and the estimated price was $71 and I got it for $14.99. Like this outfit's gonna be cute, you guys. These were from Nine West and I will say they were a little bit of a splurge. The estimated retail price was 110. I got them for around 90. So I'm gonna fall into this outfit. I'm gonna try this. So whoa! Oh my goodness, my outfit! My outfit is so cute. I just hit the ground. I don't know why I use that transition, but I'm in it. It all goes together so good, and like this is seriously the cutest outfit I've probably worn this year. Okay, but I also chose another outfit. This outfit has the sweater vest. I have been wanting a sweater vest for so long and I could not find one and there were so many to choose from on ThreadUp. This one's from Ann Taylor. Estimated retail was like $75 and I got it for $14.99. And then for under that, we just have a white t-shirt from She Plus Sky. This was originally $24 estimated retail and I got it for $12.99. This skirt is from Express Jeans and it was the estimated price was $45. I got it for $13.99. Now this time I'm not gonna fall into it. I'm gonna jump into it. Okay, here is that outfit on. I've got the same boots. Guys, I'm loving the sweater vest. Everything fits great. All right, mom, get on in here. Got a gift for you. <laughs> you shouldn't have. Look at how cute you wrapped it. You picked it, I'm sure I'll love it. Oh, my, my. So here's your first outfit. We've got you some jeans from Gab. Oh, yeah. White turtleneck. Nice. And look at this. This is from oh. J. Crew. Oh, wow. How adorable is that, this? Oh, yeah. Jump into it, girl. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cute. Oh, my gosh. I we look, oh, my goodness. We're, like, weirdly looking like we're <laughs> So cute. I love this vest. It's so nice. And I like for someone that's always warm to have their arms sticking out. Yeah. This turtleneck is from Charter Club. It was estimated at $45 and it was $13.99. Oh my word. I already said, but this was from J. Crew and it was estimated retail $120 and it was $31.99. Wow. Jeans are from The Gap. Estimated $80. They were $19.99. Oh my word. This is a dress from Paper Crane. It was estimated at $36. It was $15.99. And like, look how cute it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is so cute. Is it? Should I jump into it again? Sure. Okay. <laughs> how do you like it? I love it. It's so cute. I feel like with a little bell. All right, you guys, if you're interested to go over to ThreadUp and shop, make sure to use my promo code MiaMaples30 for 30% off your first order. And now we will be back to the Christmas roulette. Okay, sponsorship done. Let's get back to shopping. Chip. Now I did put Chip in. If you guys don't know who Chip is, he's my dog. So I don't think there's a ton of dog friendly options in here. But we'll find him something, you know, knowing him, if it's a shoe store, you could get him a shoe, he'd chew it up. If it's a makeup store, he'd chew up a makeup brush. He's really easy to please, so we'll see. What do we got? Are you serious? Oh my goodness, Aritzia? Oh my gosh, I have to get Chip something at Aritzia? Oh my gosh. 
All right, well, that'll be interesting. I wonder if Fabrizio has like any scrunchies or something because he loves chewing up scrunchies. We'll just have to go and see. That, I was not expecting that. All right, something that Chippy would like. Oh. Chip could definitely rip that apart. I got talked to by a worker. She's like, what are you looking for? And I didn't have the heart to tell her. I'm trying to find Chip something in Aritzia. Like seriously, everyone's like, are you looking for something? Are you looking to buy like a gift for anyone? And I was like, I am, but like I really don't want to get into it with you because I don't know. I don't want anyone to think my dog's gonna like destroy the clothing, but I think I found something that will work. So on any of my other toques that have a pom-pom, he loves to play with them. And just so you guys know, so he doesn't really destroy his toys usually. So I think he'll be able to play with this while also me and my mom getting some wear out of this hat, but it will be something that I think he's excited for, play with this little pom-pom. So I think it's a win-win, not gonna wreck it. I'd actually really like to use it. Nice, nice placement of the tag. <laughs> but first and foremost, Chip will play with it, but I'm also gonna get some wear out of it. Chippy! Come get your present! Oh, present for you? Chippy! Ricky! What up? Are you ready for your present? He's so excited to get you, Chippy. Yeah. What is it, Chippy? What is it? What is it? Oh, what is it, Chip? What is it? Oh, yeah! He's loving his gift. It pains me a lot, though, to let him bite this Aritzia too like this. Right? <laughs> There's something really wrong about this. Chippy gets an hour of playtime and then it's ours. <laughs> Chippy, re-gift it. Re yeah, Chippy, re-gift it. Re-gift it, bud. Chippy. Oh, oh, oh no. Yeah, go ahead. It's okay. Oh. Somebody stop him. He's really brave. He loves it. He's a maniac. Time. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> he absolutely loves that too. You that's the bougiest toy Chip will ever have. Oh god. Guys, it's so random, but like Chip just told me he wants me to have it. That is so nice. Chippy, thank you so much. Thank you so much. He literally just said he wants me to have it. I swear he wants me. He's like, come back with my tube. Chip! Now I gotta admit, I'm really hoping when I choose my mom, I get an awesome store so I can spoil her. So we will see, but for now, Dad. I think my mom said that there was Canadian Tire in here, so my dad's lucky. I'll pull Canadian Tire. And he's not lucky. DSW. All right, well, I'm probably gonna get him a pair of shoes. This has been so basic. Come on, we gotta pull out with something fun. Maybe we'll try and find him some fun shoes. You know, you know, he does love shoes, I will say, and he usually gets his shoes secondhand, so I'm gonna treat him to a brand new pair of shoes. I could get him a fedora. How did I end up here? Where's the man's shoe? I ended up in the kid's shoe. <laughs> Wait a sec. Who are those girls? All right, I gotta seriously get working. Dad shoe. Guys, no matter what, there's gonna be disappointed people about the shoes I get my dad, but I just know he doesn't like laces. He doesn't like boots. I don't think you could go wrong with them. Okay, now DSW. Now this actually, the more I thought of it, the more I thought it was perfect for my dad. Would I never think, like I would never think to get my dad shoes. But now that I think about it, he never gets new shoes. And like never, you guys, I was serious. He would never go into a shoe store and walk out with two pairs of shoes. Like that would be absurd for him. And okay, these shoes. <laughs> you guys are gonna laugh. They are such dad shoes. You guys know I love Skechers. Well, my dad is no exception. He does too. And they are no laces, slip-ons. That's very important for him. And they are hiking durable, but they're also like a sneaker style. I think he's gonna love them. If he doesn't love them, I don't know my dad at all. Okay, and then these are just a slipper with an outdoor sole. So by that, I mean it's like hard on the bottom so you can walk on terrain or walk through water and it'll be okay on the bottom of the foot just because my dad has to take Chippy out usually in the morning and his feet always get cold. So I think this will be nice. It's like lined and soft. Here you go. Oh, nicely wrapped. Oh yeah. What do you think it is? Shoes, definitely. Whoa, good guess. Wow. <laughs> And I don't think you need extra wide. They just only came in that. But I don't think it'll be a big deal. Oh. What do you think? Oh, those are sharp. Oh, and there's no laces. And they're durable for hiking. Like you got me. 
This is good. I'm nervous. Can you not get them on? <laughs> How are they? I love them. Do you? I totally do. They're great. Yeah, these fit dynamite. All right, you have one more. Oh, super. Yeah, and you can wear them outside. They have like an outdoor sole. The walk and chip. Yeah. Very nice. Come on, Dan. Yeah, we're good. Do they fit? Oh yeah, they're so foamy and nice. So I'm assuming you know you got a shoe store. Well, I was fortunate to get a shoe store. You were. Right? I never thought to get you shoes, but you do like shoes and you don't yeah. really get new shoes. Yeah, no. Aldo? Aldo? No. You got DSW. Do you know what that is? Is that a shoe store? Designer shoe warehouse. Ah, I lucked out. <laughs> you did. Really good. Okay, three more names. Who do we got here? Mom. Okay, you guys, I need to pull something great. Come on. Why am I closing my eyes? They're all folded up. <gasps> you guys. Home sense. Slam dunk. Nobody says slam dunk anyway. But okay, home sense for my mom. That is going to be so easy. Got you, mom. Don't be shy if you see something yeah. you like. She's walking around with me right now, but once I actually get a lead, she's gotta go. She can't know what I'm getting her. But right now she's following me. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Those little milk jug things are cute too. All right, mom, we gotta break apart. I'm seeing too many good things. Okay. We gotta go. <laughs> I'm just grabbing as many things as I can. I'll pick through it all later. I don't know. It's amazing. All right, I think I got everything. I think I'm good. Okay, home sense of my mom, so easy. I basically grazed the store looking for things I think I would like, and then I know she'll love them. So the first thing that I got, and I'm trying to be a little quiet because she's downstairs and she's probably listening, but it's this little watering can. How unique is this? My mom is getting so into having real plants right now, so I think a cute watering can to sit out is way up her alley. And then like an oxymoron of some sort is getting a fake plant and a watering can, because obviously this doesn't need to be watered it's absolutely fake it's plastic but i really like the way this one looked like my eyes were drawn to it and honestly i think it would match her decor really well now i could go on and on but i have two more pieces and that's all i got honestly let me loosen home sense it's very dangerous i could have got way more but i wanted to try and like keep it like what would i really get her for Christmas. Next we have this little dog bone shaped hanger that goes on the wall. This will be great for Chibi's leashes and everything. Right now they get lost under all the jackets. So I think my mom will really like having that. And finally, last but not least, a Christmassy, um, I was about to say Halloween. No, like a snowflake design blanket. This is so soft and I feel like it's a nice way to like be winter themed without like being slapped in the face with it. So I think she'll definitely like this. It's soft, it's a blanket. Can't really go wrong with this with my mom. <laughs> I'm gonna hand you this because okay. it's so big. Oh my goodness, wow. This is beautiful, pink with the snowflakes. It is cute, Aww. but you gotta rip into it, mom. Okay, how fun, Christmas is early. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh. I know it's what? so cute. Aww. That I thought would be good for oh, Chippy's yeah. leashes. Perfect, just for Chip's sweater and yeah, leashes. Yeah, so it doesn't get covered by all the jackets. Totally. Very practical, cute, and useful. Oh, yeah. I love that. Live, love, woof. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I love a fluffy blanket. Thanks, Mia. You're welcome. Oh yeah, that is so nice. Thank you very much. You're welcoming. Okay, we have Tate and Eli left, so let's see. Eli, okay, Eli, what do you got? What are you getting? Lululemon, okay, Eli. He's gonna be happy with that one. Okay, we'll go into Lululemon. I don't think he owns anything from Lululemon, so I'm just gonna have to go in and see what I think he would like. The music's extremely loud in here, and I have no idea what size Eli is. 
Okay, Lululemon, I'm so excited to give Eli this. I think he will be very excited for this gift. I don't think he sees it coming at all. He likes to work out and he likes to wear athletic clothes just like on a daily basis. This is one that I had to guess the sizes of, but worst case scenario, he can exchange them. And this is like a really nice athletic jogger. It's black. For anyone who's curious about the style, it's the Surge jogger. It was funny, this guy was helping us and I was like, I'm looking at these pants. He's like, oh, well I'm wearing them. And then I was like, oh, I'm looking at this shirt and he's like, oh, I'm wearing that shirt. I'm like, okay, well, I'm just trying to buy your outfit, I guess. So yeah, and then I got this athletic shirt. Now this fabric is like my favorite fabric from Lululemon. So I think he'll really like it. It's very breathable and soft. And I like the blue and I like this as a pair. So I'm excited to give him these. Here you go. Excellent, thank you. The wrapping paper is very cute. Thank you. Ooh, I wonder where it's from. So? Oh, this is awesome. Yeah. So what are these? These are like... They're joggers, like workout joggers and a workout awesome. top. And I guessed on your sizes, but I have the receipt just in case, but the guy was wearing the same thing, so I just based on his size. Yeah, that's great. These will be good because I like loose fitting pants. Yeah, that's what he said too. And I like a shirt that sticks to my muscles. <laughs> there you go. What do you honestly think? Do you like it? I love them. They're great. Thank you so much. I These are like workout clothes that I can't afford myself. So I really appreciate that. Uh, I really I really appreciate having some of them. Thank you so much, Mia. Okay, last but certainly not least, we have Tate. I already know because I need the people, so. Tate. There are so many to choose from. I'm actually so surprised with how many like clothing shoe brands we've gotten. Like my mom told me Build-A-Bear's in here. Like where is it? This could not have went more in Tate's favor. Literally EB Games. Literally if there was like one store that was like perfectly crafted for Tate, it would have been EB Games. He has a switch. I feel like that's what he'll be after. I really should pay more attention. He's definitely talked about games. Do hmm. you think he'd ever roll around with a case? I wonder. Okay, EB Games. Literally a match made in heaven. When I think of EB Games, I think of Tate. So I could not have picked a more easy pair. When I got in there, I just basically asked, like I felt really out of my element for some reason. Cause like I play Buki Superstar and that's almost it. But so I asked the worker, what is the most popular Switch game right now? My brother likes Animal Crossing and he said Super Smash Bros which I love Super Smash Bros see I'm all up on like Wii games like Wii Fit, Wii Sports, like Mario Kart those are more my realm so I didn't want to stray too far from that and I think this will be good and he was saying how there's like a bunch of new characters new maps or whatever so I think Tate will like that and then I also got this travel case because Tate always rolls up with his switch just like hanging around and I'm just like it's a pretty expensive device I think it'd be good to put it in a case so hopefully he doesn't have this game already I don't think he does but we'll see you're Ready? Yes. What is up, everybody? Okay, Tate. I'm interested to hear what story you think it was. <laughs> Should I guess what it is? Sure, guess. Um, a kitchen <laughs> utensil. A kitchen? Okay. A ladle. Oh my gosh, bro! <laughs> <laughs> I wanted this game for a long time. Okay, and that was my worry. I wasn't sure if you had it already. Wow, that's crazy. Guess I, what store you got? I got um, EB Games. You did! Wow. That was the one I yeah. that mom put in for you, and you got that's what pulled for you. Oh my gosh, yo! And then a case for your Switch. Oh my God, thanks, <laughs> I never buy myself games because I just can't justify doing it. I'm like, I could spend the money on food or gas. So this is crazy. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy you like it. I wasn't sure if you would. Bro, this is sick. Can I pick out of the remainder for you? And then I can go in one store? I want to get something for you. No, you don't have to get me anything. No, I want to. Let me go. Where are the leftover tags? I'll grab one. She just can't keep doing this for everybody else. I want to get her something too. I'll probably get like Canadian Tire or a hardware store. But she loves tools and stuff, so. How <laughs> did you do this? <laughs> Oh! <laughs> what is it? My MasterCard is gonna. <laughs> no way! What'd you get? Mia, you're getting some from Pandora. <laughs> you're getting some jewelry. <laughs> Great, I've been wanting to go in that store and see what's what. What's what? We walk in and we go, what's what? 
Okay, you guys. So here's my present for Mia. We were just laughing so much in the car on the way home because she said, oh, and I hope you just didn't get me one of those like bracelets. Those, you know, that traditional Pandora bracelet. And I'm like, well, what else would I get for you? Because like you don't wear earrings. Her ears are really sensitive. Anyways, I'll show you what it looks like. It's the rose gold clasp. And then it has the little rose gold with gemstone heart. This is her cute little bracelet. <laughs> okay, guys. So I am driving back to the mall because I have second guessed the present that I bought for Mia. Just to be clear, I really, really like it, but uh, <laughs> she totally guessed it when we were driving home. I think it's gonna be better if it's a surprise. So anyways, um, I'm going back and I'm exchanging it for one that I actually think that she'll like better. Okay, you guys, so this is what I got for Mia. After another trip to the mall, I just did a quick switcheroo. Anyways, I wanna show you what it looks like. I think she's gonna really love it. Rhinestone rose gold tennis bracelet and you just pull it tight onto the wrist so it won't be super dangly. It's really fine and delicate. I think she'll love it. It. Here she comes. Thank you. <laughs> I am nervous about this one. You guys, okay, there was a really popular Pandora bracelet back when I was younger, and I just never really liked it that much. <laughs> And I asked my mom yesterday after the mall, I said, wait, did, you didn't get the Pandora like charm bracelet, did you? And she was like, just started laughing. <laughs> So I'm worried, but you know what? I haven't seen it in a while, to be fair, and that was an opinion I had when I was like 14, so I might like it, but I feel like that's what it is. <laughs> so, okay, let's see. Seems like a bracelet box. <laughs> oh! What? Did you get the charm bracelet? I really like this! Yeah, I do! do. <laughs> okay, you had me all nervous. Why were you doing that to me? I don't know. I like it. Okay, well I'm glad you like it, Mia. And then it won't be too too dangly. Oh my gosh, I love it! No, this is exactly you know I like dainty jewelry. <laughs> you did so good. Why were you freaking me out? Was that just to mess me up? I, I, on the second trip to the mall, I got it right. <laughs> shopping again. <laughs> oh my gosh, mom. <laughs> Do you like it? I really like it. I was so surprised when I opened it up. I was like, what? All right, you guys, so that is everything that I got my family in this Christmas roulette game. It was so much fun. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'm so happy that I got to do this because I was really eyeing it up last year. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Just popping in here to remind you guys, if you're interested in shopping on ThreadUp, make sure to use my promo code MIAMAPLES30 for 30% off your first order.